Welcome to the Wizarding World. I'm giving out some magical secrets for all wizards, witches, and evil muggles. These secrets are not even taught at the best magical schools. Hi guys, my name is Emma, and I'm the Miss Leslie. In this video, I'm celebrating Harry Potter's birthday. Yay! So if you are a Harry Potter fan, you're going to love making these Harry Potter-inspired DIYs. They're easy and absolutely magical. Before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified every single time I upload a new video. And don't forget to like this video as well. Now you can all be the masters of death because the first DIY I'm going to show you is so powerful and it's something that's very difficult to get your hands on. I'm showing you how you can get the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone and the Invisibility Cloak. First, I'm taking an embroidery hoop. It's 6 inches in diameter. I'll take the inner part only. Next, I'm taking these bamboo sticks. You can work with crafting wooden dowels. First, you're going to make a triangle with the wooden stick and then place the hoop in between. Start by cutting the bamboo sticks or the wooden dowels at a 45 degree angle. that the sticks connect perfectly so you have to cut identical angles on each once two sides of the triangles are done use masking tape or painter's tape to tape the sticks together then connect the hoop with these sticks so they stay in place for the last side of the triangle mark the points where you need to cut and then cut it out The elder wand looks like this and that's exactly how we are going to make it. I want my wand to be a bit longer than the triangle. Cut both ends at a straight angle. Then use glue gun to create the design of the elder wand. Start at the bottom and create the handle. Then start rolling the stick around so the glue doesn't drip. Once the glue is slightly dry, use your hands to give it a nice and smoother shape. Then you are going to create the rest of the design. Use your fingers to give the design a smoother shape. Then use glue gun to glue the triangle and the hoop together. I am going to create the tip of the wand using glue gun. Then use black spray paint to paint it. And seal it with a clear acrylic lacquer spray. Ta da! Now you're the master of death with this very magical Harry Potter inspired wall decor. Magical schools are going to teach you how Mary Moody got the magical eye. But I know how he did, and now you can have one for yourself as well. Take a ping pong and cut it in half. This is going to be the eyeball. Next, use your glue gun and create a border around your eyeball. This is going to be very irregular and it's not supposed to be perfect. Also cover the bag to give it a nice support. Once it is slightly dry, use your fingers to give it a smoother shape. Then create a loop for the necklace chain. Next paint the casing of the eyeball with the brown paint. acrylic color take a pencil and first create a big circle in the center then create a smaller circle within it and then again create a smaller circle in the middle paint the outer circle with light blue color then the center with dark blue paint And the small 
smallest one with black color. And in the last, use a white paint to create kind of a reflection in the pupil. Then seal this with clear acrylic lacquer spray. And here you are with your very own Madame Moody eye. But unlike Umbridge, we are only going to use this for the good. So wear this Harry Potter inspired necklace around your neck and feel magical. Who doesn't need a Harry Potter inspired mug to drink their delicious butter beer? Or pumpkin juice in. We all do. So next up, it's a very easy high potent inspired mug for you all. Start by using your clay to create Harry's famous car. I'm using air dry clay. Once you make the scar and you're satisfied with it, stick it to the mug and keep it away. This will help give it a better shape at the back. When you're making the scars and sticking them to the mug, make sure that you leave around 2 inches at the top so you can sip easily. The number of scars you need depends on the size of the scars. My scars are around 3 inches long and I only need 5 of these. Once they're all on the cup, I'm going to use water to make any cracks and then I'm going to leave them here for a bit. Instead of air dry clay, if you're using oven baked clay, then at this stage you will need to bake these. After they have dried a bit or you have baked them, you're going to take these off and start painting them yellow or gold. Once the paint is dry, use clear acrylic lacquer spray to seal it. Now use a strong glue like E6000 to stick these to the mug. This mug is only for hand washing, do not put it in the dishwasher. Just a little secret. This mug is so magical that it fills right back up on its own. So make this DIY for a non-stop supply of butter beer, pumpkin juice or whatever you like to drink. I hope all wizards and witches like these DIYs. And the mothers too. I mean, they deserve a bit of our magic. It's okay. We like to share. Share your thoughts in the comments down below. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. The links are in the description box below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. And don't forget to like this video. For more amazing DIYs, check out my channel. Until next time, take care, have fun, and be messy. Bye!